So I have two gigantic announcements for this video, as you can tell from the title of this video. So let's jump straight into them. So the first big announcement is a date for your diary. Tomorrow, the 14th of December at 8 p.m., we're going to be making history. Some of you know this fellow by the name of Simon Arks Fizz. However, some of you may not know this other fellow going by the name of Jake Wright. You see where I'm going with this? This will be the first time we've ever had Oxbridge vlogging all in one place. So tune in 8 p.m. tomorrow, put it in your diary because it's going to be amazing. So do tune in if you have any questions for us or if you would just like to observe us in our natural habitats. The other gigantic announcements which you may have seen on Twitter is that we are going to be launching a new video series for this channel that focuses on one, making you love learning and how to learn effectively, and two, our objective is going to be getting higher exam results. The series is going to be called Study Sharp, it is launching in January and it's going to be your New Year's resolution and we are all going to do it together. It will have advice on how to go about studying effectively along with activities you guys can do to pick up the habits you need to read more effectively, write more effectively, solve problems and also prepare for your exams in a way that is sustainable and will also get you results. So if you'd like to be one of the first people to discover and be a part of this movement in education, do go to anoddeducation.com and check out the website to sign up to know about the launch as soon as it happens. So I promise you guys also a life update as to what I have been up to since October because Textiles is over and since then I have been trying to pick a job. So at the end of Textiles I had numerous job offers on the table. However, I didn't want to pick a job where I didn't feel as though I was having an impact. And also another criteria for the job that I would like to do is that I would like to feel as though I was learning as much as possible as fast as possible. I really like growing as a person in every single different way, uh, whether it be my communication skills, whether it be having life experiences, like traveling and also building up my business acumen such that whenever I found my company, I don't lead loads of people into the forest where we all get killed by venomous snakes. I don't want that to happen. That raises the question as to what that company exactly does, but I essentially wanted a job that would give me the richest experience possible, which leads into this really weird story that happened on Thursday. So you may have seen on Twitter that I went to a graduate day. I went to this graduate day at a company called Gray's and the opportunity was to have an open day around Gray's offices. They're the ones who send you those little boxes of snacks in the post. And it was to go to their office in Richmond to just have a feel for what it's like to work there, meet the people who work there, and also for them to see if you would fit into their culture as a potential graduate developer. So one of the first tasks we were given was to figure out how we would build the company grades. And we were presenting this idea to the other people who split up into teams, so our team was presenting, and my eyes lock with this guy from the other side of the room, and I get all flustered. I just, I'm just like, I know him, oh my god, and I look at his name badge, I'm like, I actually do know who this person is. This is so weird. So I'm presenting and suddenly I'm a bit like, uh, yeah, so then we go to the next step and uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, so this person was Jake, Cambridge Jake, computer science Cambridge Jake, the one who we're making a video with tomorrow. It was the weirdest coincidence ever because one, he is from Cambridge and like he lives there and this it was in London so it's quite distant, but he lives in the north. So that's even a weirder because he travelled like six hours to get to this um, day. The other thing is, um, they only let ten people in to come to this day, which made the, the probability of this happening even lower. And the other thing is, I'm not even a developer. And I was the only non-developer in the room, but I'm really passionate about learning about development, which is how I managed to get in because of my enthusiasm for the role. So, technically, I shouldn't have been there. That made this crossing of fates so weird and we just couldn't help but laugh and he documented it in his snapchat and i tweeted it because that's what you have to do if something really weird happens like this you just have to document it because life surprises you and when it does you should remember it because those are the little memories that make it wonderful yeah so that illuminates how odd life is and it also sheds some light on the fact that i'm going for developer roles because i wanted to build up some hard technical skills to complement the business skills i have because having a general understanding as to how things are made 
um, when you want to build a product, particularly, you know, I'm going to run with that word, particularly uh, for what I want to go into, which is technology, specifically education technology, which you may have got from uh, this channel so far that I'm particularly passionate about that. The other company I'm going for is a company who headhunted me for a position, but I've come to discover that this company is harder to get into than Oxford. It's harder to get into than Google, I'm discovering. And <laughs> I'm, so as a consequence, I'm doing some Stanford courses on algorithms. I'm doing some Stanford courses on design and also really nailing down the company. I'm researching them like mad. I'm watching all of their videos. I'm chatting to people who currently work at the company, people who have worked at the company, and also reading loads of forums and threads to try and discover exactly what they do and having the best understanding as possible as to where I would fit in and where I can contribute the most to the mission that they have. That is where I currently stand. Those are the two things I'm currently chasing. Um, on top of that, we're also going to be launching an odd education for the Study Sharp series to help you guys. Um, we've got a really great group of people coming together to make this happen. And I will leave it open there because we're going to be chatting tomorrow at 8pm. So I will see you on Sunday, subscribers and anyone else who tunes in. I hope your interviews went or are going very, very well. And as I said, I will chat to you tomorrow. Goodbye. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly.